Welcome to the Data Mask. We are the community which believe on free learning. We are here to share the advanced concepts in simple language. Today we will discuss how the satellite works. How we are able to see the actual imagery. What is the meaning of the actual satellite imagery? As we know that sun is a powerful source of energy. Here we are only talking about the visible range spectrum. Sun will emit electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation having the dual property that is the particle theory as well as the wave theory. So sun will emit energy in ultraviolet region, visible region, infrared region. Here for the entire duration of uh, this video to measure various aspects of this building. As we know that when the sun radiation is strike to this building, it either reflects few of the radiations, the building can also absorb few of the radiation and the building can also scatter few radiations in the multiple direction. Here is our satellite. To observe this building from the satellite, energy coming from the sun reflected back in the view angle or in the camera of the satellite. The reason why we call it remote sensing because remotely we are sensing the building, we are not touching the building. This region we are calling as a top of the atmosphere because here where the atmosphere ends. Remember the satellite is always above the atmosphere. Here are the various, uh, here are the various atmospheric layers like stratosphere, here ionosphere. Now to understand the solar zenith angle, draw the perpendicular line from the object of interest. So here you can draw the perpendicular line. Suppose our object of interest is here, let us draw a perpendicular line from here. So the angle between, you know, that perpendicular line which we have drawn from the object of observation. If object of observation is here, you draw a perpendicular line here. If it is here, you draw a perpendicular line here. So the angle between the perpendicular line which you have drawn and the solar radiation coming on the object, that angle is called solar zenith angle. Here the radiation is coming. Here we can define a unit called reflectance. So reflectance do not have any unit and it is the energy which is transmitted from the object divided by total energy coming towards the object obviously from a source now if we see what all happens during the remote sensing suppose here is our satellite and this is our building so when the solar radiation will come obviously solar radiation will come in different uh, wavelength different band here the yellow picture represent the visible or near infrared band and uh, this red emits the reflected radiance that so when the uh, or the solar radiation will come either they can strike on the object and then reflect it back to the satellite or solar radiation can strike from the cloud and can reflect it to the satellite or it may be absorbed by the surface due to the absorption the earth surface and objects will be heated so and and we know that if an object is heated it will start radiating it may happen that some of the radiations are absorbed by the cloud and it may happen that some of those radiations may, may be penetrated by the cloud and may reach some other sensor here may, we may have some other thermal sensor which measure the thermal radiation and we can see that if fractional part of the energy falling on the object is reflected back to the sensor but sensor is collecting much more energy that the energy may come from atmosphere in term of uh, noise the energy may be reflected by some cloud and uh, then coming to the sensor that is what we call path radiance 
sensor will collect the radiance the reflectance is the property of the building but radiance is the property of the sensor means how much amount of energy sensor is collecting okay let us understand the sensor a bit i am taking the example of landsat it camera here this is the landsat it satellite and this is here the landsat it camera if you see camera in a different angle you can see that camera or optical camera is collecting the electromagnetic radiations they will strike to the ccd ccd is a small semiconductor you remember the particle theory of electromagnetic radiations if particles will strike in this area then it will absorb those particles and electromagnetic currents will be generated and that electromagnetic current will be finally converted into dn value so in a sensor this kind of small ccds will be arranged in a linear array where the electromagnetic radiation will come and strikes Th that striking of electromagnetic particles will generate the electromagnetic current in the current the back end electronics of this uh, sensor is first we will apply some filters some noise filters why filtering here is important is because when we club the multiple ccds then uh, the interference uh, of obviously if current is flowing again it will generate some electromagnetic radiation to the neighbor ccd element so it's kind of a multiple interference which is happening and to limit those interference uh, certain filter and uh, low noise amplifiers will be applied and ultimately it's an analog to digital converter where the current generated by the ccds are converted into a digital number now that digital number is some way it's a representation of uh, the amount of energy collected by the sensor so that raw digital number suppose 30 40 50 60 is not so much relevant to us look to understand better you can see that this is the raw image means directly the dn values an image is a two dimensional matrix where each pixel will represent the value now it matters what value it is representing for a raw data it is representing the dn value that is raw digital number value means here one pixel in a red band is representing the digital number if our final objective is just to see the features then usually in raw images also we will able to see the features means uh, building vegetation that features we can know but if we want to carry out the quantitative analysis like of what material the building is made up of or what is the yield of these crops if we move towards the application from the satellite imagery then it is very important to convert these simple dn values into the radiance and then to the reflectance and there are two type of reflectance that is top of the atmosphere and the bottom of the atmosphere or surface reflectance remember the reflectance is the true property of the object that is the ratio of the energy which is reflected by the object so the reflectance is the true property of the object but these raw dn values are not the true property of the object it is the property which tells us that the how much amount of energy a sensor has captured it may happen on one fine day when there is no cloud for the same building the sensor may capture more energy and it may happen on a cloudy day for the same building sensor may capture less energy now conversion of this dn value in the reflectance and radiance is a complete different affair which i am going to cover in a different video i will take the example of landsat 8 data and i will explain how it will be converted to radiance and how radiance will be converted to top of the atmosphere the actual surface reflectance is the true representation of physical property of an object just like a building friends so we have learned that what is the exact meaning of 
satellite image now for you and satellite image is not only a two dimensional matrix but you can understand and you can tell it is a dn value at the end the dn value represents the true picture of radiance if you find this knowledge useful please do share and subscribe the channel please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will not forget any important update the data mass team works on machine learning deep learning data science and all the area where data mask is required our motivation is to provide you the mask which you can wear when you are observing and analyzing the data so that you can find out the hidden pattern inside the data.